is going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming at you with a brand new video today. Today we're going a little bit high risk, high reward. We are checking out the newly released, I guess it's been out for a little while now, Court Kings Basketball. Uh, we are going to look for some of those level 4 rookies. If you are not familiar with Court Kings, most rookies have multiple cards within the checklist. There's level 1, level 2, level 3, and the much desired level 4. All have different designs. Also, some very, very cool case hits come out of here, like Aurora, and uh, the other one I can't pronounce, it's like Le Cinque de, I, I don't know, it's something French. Get it right or pay the price. <laughs> uh, ja Morant is our cover boy on this product this year, coming in at over $300 on these. I believe these are closer to $350. So I enjoyed these products a whole lot more in the hobby in a time when they could be had for around $100, $175, $150. I am never going to financially recover from this. But when you're playing that much more higher stakes, you are looking for a top name autograph. We are going to get one autograph, one memorabilia. Maybe we can find a First Steps Lamello as well. That would be very nice. First Steps, one of the inserts in Court Kings. But yeah, if you are into high risk, high reward products, uh, now is a great time with Court Kings and Crown Royal both out. Crown Royal, of course, going to have those amazing silhouette RPAs, which I love so much. Court Kings... Uh, I've only done a couple of these boxes in the past. I chased a um, chased a Zion last year in Court Kings, and I've done the, I believe, Australia gets blasters of this product as well, but it is a different configuration than the standard hobby box. Uh, I'm going to shut up and uh, go ahead and rip into this one. This one's definitely going to be a box that I hold on to. I do like to just kind of collect boxes of some of the nicer stuff that I rip. Maybe one day I will actually put these up on a wall and make a giant collage of everything that I've ripped for the past couple of years ever since I started doing so. Uh, 10 cards total, one autograph, one memorabilia. Let's see what we can find. Just a fun little rip. Really like the the design of these cards. Kind of have a, almost a pop art feel to them. Um, yeah, it's just one of those sets. You know, if you enjoy that high risk, high reward, this is definitely one of the ones I would recommend. A couple of different case hits. One auto per, one memorabilia per. I think we're going to actually, uh, let's go with, uh, let's hide cards with a spacer, shall we? Might be fun. All right. So I am actually not familiar with the, um, not familiar with the levels as well. I've watched a couple of these rips, but I don't like to like see the big cards spoiled for me. So uh, let's see. First card out going to be Brandon Ingram. That is going to be your design. Again, kind of pop arty, kind of uh, kind of out there. So if you're into designs like this, you don't see very many of these throughout the course of a season. Has that canvas feel to it. Um, so I'm a big, big fan. I like these a lot. I like these cards an absolute ton, actually. All right, next one out. We have Jonas Valanciunas. Man, just colorful designs. I like how the player is outlined like with a stroke. Let me show you this one. Just a very great looking set, very abstract. Um, so if these are your thing, and these are definitely my thing. I mean, it has the canvas working for it. It has this crazy design. Uh, I would definitely recommend that you pick up one of these boxes. We are gonna have an auto in here. And uh, we're gonna have works in progress, and that is gonna be Obi Toppin, who had a couple of good playoff games there. Works the rebound. Knicks have numbers, alley -oop. Alley -oop to top it. Yeah. And it's Pendlum here at the Garden. As I'm recording this, that series with the Hawks is still underway. I'm pre-recording a little bit of content. And there we go, 17 of 149 actually on that one. Pre-recording a little bit of content. I will be out of town. So I'm trying to, trying to make sure that you guys have your daily run good. But got to go on a little bit of a work trip. That one's actually really cool because you have... Obi Toppin, but then you have the rest of the design not yet finished, hence works in progress, and that is going to be a red. So I will take that. All right, next card out. Let's see if this is our auto or game worn. It's going to be game worn. That's going to be Art uh, Nueve. Art Nouveau. Nueve. Art Nouveau, and that is going to be another Nick Julius Randall, who as of right now, again, as I'm recording this, has all but disappeared from the playoffs. Uh, not the same Julius Randle that we saw in the regular season. Um, but again, good looking card. I'm actually, that one's a little, um, you know, I, I like the accents up there and things like that. But it's a little more boring than some of the other cards that we've seen. Next card out. 
I think this is going to be our auto, and it is going to be Precious to 149. I'll take that. The Heat were bounced out of the playoffs in ceremonious fa unceremonious fashion, excuse me, by the Bucks, uh, and I did not expect a sweep. The 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 Heat looked like a totally different team than what we saw in the bubble. So I don't know if we're going to see major changes to that lineup next year. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll be interesting to see what they decide to do. But Hero and Bam, Bam looked totally lost out there. Hero, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with J Tyler Hero. I'm kind of worried about that kid. Uh, Precious to 149 is going to be our auto. Next card out is going to be another Works in Progress. And hopefully this is a gold. Works in Progress, Desmond Bain. Just going to be a base, unfortunately, the gold uh, down there. But we will take a Desmond Bain. I'll definitely take that. All right, next card. Oh, that's a pretty sweet card. That is a pretty sweet card. Gonna be Kawhi Leonard points in the paint again. Just more, uh, just great, just great. I love these designs. Just like uh, almost like a watercolor design right there around him a little bit. I mean, anyways, at least that's kind of what it looks like. But hey, I'll take that. Not a big Clippers fan myself, but I respect Kawhi's game. Next card out, going to be Okongwu. And I'm not sure what level this is. Let's see if we can see on the back. Uh, that is going to be a level 2 Okongwu for Atlanta. I think we probably also have a level 3 right behind it. So Okongwu. Next card out. I think we have two cards left. Maybe one. Next card out, going to be Theo Maladon. And that is going to be a level 1. I will take that. I would have rather liked to see a Poku, uh, Alexei Pokashevsky, who I uh, think the world of. If he can bulk up just a little bit, I think um, a lot of comparisons to Giannis, a lot of comparisons to Kevin Durant, and those are some tough shoes to fill. So uh, I really like his game. I think he has a sweet looking shot. If you have not watched it, I would recommend checking out some of Poku on Twitter or on YouTube. Excuse me. Final card, Mr. Grant Riller, and that is going to be a level one as well so again just a very very quick rip with this one 10 cards uh we did not hit any case hits unfortunately hit the riller hit the maladon and the okongwu okongwu was a level two uh points in the paint gonna be Kawhi. couple of works in progress we had the desmond bane and also the obi toppin the toppin was numbered to 149 and then a couple base cards brandon ingram Valanchinis, and then our hits were a relic of uh, Julius Randall that was non-numbered, and uh, Precious, and that was to 149 auto. And that is going to do it. Just a quick rip today. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. Also, why don't you give this video a like? Would greatly appreciate that as well. Let me know what you think of products like this. Do you like these high-risk, high-reward products that only have you know seven to ten cards? Or do you prefer a big full box like Prism Hobby or uh, Revolution or something like that that has more cards, more base cards, and uh, less hits? Let me know. I'd love to hear your take on this product. And that is going to do it for me today. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.